Street Beefs, what's up? Face with you. Sunday after the fights, man. Amazing, amazing day of fights. The heat was bad out there, I'm telling you. It was it was hot, but it was it, it was great, man. The fighters fought great. Shout out to everybody who fought yesterday. So let's get to a matter that I believe I've discussed here before. I know I've discussed multiple times in the Facebook group. Um, and it's a subject I don't like to discuss, but I think it's important. Money in the fights in any way, shape, or form. I always say there's no money involved for the fighters in street beefs. I can't stress that enough. And there's several reasons for that. Um, the number one reason being... And again, you know, anybody that doubts what I'm saying, Google is your friend. It's illegal to pay non-professional fighters in Virginia. Furthermore, we wouldn't want to pay the fighters. These fights are for recreation and for beef. That's it. Okay? These We don't got Spider Silva, Kimbo Slice, and those guys showing up to the yard. Okay? These are a bunch of guys that, that are just guys that want to come out. And, and get in some, some fun or solve a dispute. So, you know, I, I say it again, I've, I've heard people in the comments, well, we know the Street Beef channel is making money off this. They're taking advantage of the fighter. Okay, amateur MMA, amateur boxing, they don't pay fighters. They sell popcorn, they sell tickets, they charge concessions of all kinds. Um, they make big chunks at every event. They charge the fighters. They and and they charge the usually they'll charge the fighters a fee just to sign up. Then you got to pay for a physical, got to pay for this, pay for that. Okay, so you know I, I would like to think street beefs is a lot cheaper route for fighters who just want to experience a fight. Okay, if you're coming here looking to build up to be a high level pro, street beefs ain't for you. Okay, street beefs is for people who just just want the recreation of a fight or to solve a dispute. Secondly, money, exchanging hands, gambling on the fights anyway. We do not condone that. We do not tolerate that. It's not something that Street Beefs allows, participates in, or is a part of in any way. Okay? That's a fact. We don't allow it in our fights. If we find out somebody's involved in it, they're not allowed here. As simple as that. That's how Street Beefs goes. We're trying to keep our name and our image as clear as possible, okay? <clears throat> as with every fight organization, there's some powers that, that be that don't like street beefs, okay? That's just the reality. Guess what? When the UFC was trying to get established, there were states that fought them tooth and nail. Well, I don't want to say the UFC, MMA in general. And I think, I mean, don't let me put my foot in my mouth, but I believe there may be a state or two left that still don't allow MMA. Regardless, MMA is not widely accepted by everybody. So if commercial MMA isn't accepted, backyard MMA definitely isn't accepted. Not by everybody. So that's why it's important to us to keep things at its roots. We try to make things as organized as possible, so on and so forth. But there's certain guidelines that we have to go by in order to keep street beefs alive. We can't have money involved in any way, shape, or form with us or our fighters. We can't do it. And for me, you can't claim to love street beefs and be yelling that we should be paying the fighters. That's Because if you, if, if you know the law, then you know that that's never going to fly. So I think I've done a video on this before. I'm sure I'll get... The, the typical trolls in the comments saying this or that. I had one dickhead say, well, you could pay the fighters a couple hundred dollars and say it's for something else. So in other words, I could break the law. I could break the law and be slick about it, is what you're saying. No. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize this. Okay. The fighters love to come here and fight. It's a way for them to come experience a fight and let hundreds of thousands of people see them fight. Most of them, that's all they want. Most of these guys coming here are not looking for a professional career. Last but not least, you get paid to fight when you build up a big enough name to where people want to pay you to fight. 
Most of the people that come here, nobody knows them. Even our bigger name fighters, they're known by Street Beefs fans, but the UFC isn't knocking on their door, okay? It's just not something that's ever going to happen. We do not allow paying the fighters. We do not gamble or allow money to exchange hands in any way on our fights. We don't tolerate it. So I just want to make that clear. That's very important that that's clear to everybody out there, okay? Street Beefs is going to continue to be what it's always been, backyard fight organization, where people who may not be able to go fight pro or amateur who just want to experience a fight can come and fight. That's it. That's what this is. Now, some of these guys, they do it because they want to get their name out there. Cool. Uh, you, you know, you get millions of views, you build a fan base. Kimbo Slice started in a backyard. But regardless, there'll be no pay involved. So that's where it's at. Accept it, hate it, love it, it is what it is. That's the rules. Excuse me, I'm hoarse. We did a lot of yelling yesterday. Um, another big event coming, man. You know Jens Balver's reffing our next event. Stay tuned for that. Questions, comments, leave them below. Peace.